wish I knew more about this game because it, uh, the name, it seems so familiar. I cannot put my finger on it. Too bad. Well, let's play Oikaki Puzzle. Oikaki means roughly sketch, and puzzle means puzzle, so yeah. Art puzzles? Maybe. Let's see here. Hmm. Uh, the hell? Pixel art? <laughs> okay, so we know that it's supposed to be five on these lines. Is it Sudoku dots? There we go. And the reward is... Seizures! I'm not entirely sure what that is. Is it a hat? Yeah, okay, okay, the magenta is a background. Okay, so it's a top hat. It's a top hat. Yay, oh, okay. we want a hat. Now I see it. Okay. Number two. Two, one. Oh, jeez. Jeez. So it's a Sudoku puzzle. It's something like this then. Not entirely sure how this is supposed to work. Is it a heart maybe? Or something? Neo Geo folks. I must Terribly confused here. Maybe the second number is supposed to be the S shapes? Maybe. I can place X's and shit too. Huh. Hmm. I was trying to figure this out here basically. Okay. Three, one. <laughs> Number is the number of continuous black boxes, okay. So it would be 3, 1 here. And there's 1, 2, like so. And there's just 2. The question is where do we need to place those 2? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Put the two on the second and third slots on the bottom row. Well, the uh, second to bottom row. I think it's a need four here. Yeah, we have two there, so that should work. That should meet the criteria for that one. So mathematically speaking, it's right now. We assume we don't actually know the rules to this, exactly. No four column? Puzzles. <laughs> Erase all of it besides the second row. That's what Tapham says. In the third column, set the three middle to black. That doesn't help us much though, since it needs to be four in this one. I think we ran out of time, aren't we? Nah. We have pretty much unlimited oh. time, I think. Oh, that's good. I'm leaving this in the hands of the stream chat. He said row, not column. Let's just start over. Why not? <laughs> I don't think so, Lumberjack. I don't think so. 
dome it says R. Second row is three black, one white, one black. We're getting so focused on this somehow. In the center column, the middle three are definitely black. Sort of has to be, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out what it might be. I mean... But working with these few, it's sort of, you know... Blood Grevling says third row is black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black, black, white, white. I don't know if he's joking or not, because that would be six, not five. Who knows? Minus one witchery. Well, just leave so, one like that. So it would be black, white, black, white, black, black, white. Blech. I mess up a lot. Seriously, it would be kind of needed if, act if they actually matched up to what they said, you know? Tapham says top row is white, black, black, white, white. Still not seeing what this is supposed to be. Like, at all. Fish, maybe? No, Frankenstein, it is not a duck. Not even if you put your hand on the side and squint a bit. Kind of reminds me of the things from the Atari Avenger game. The little duck monsters. Hmm. Lumberjack says it's an array of black and white blocks. 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 Ah. Blocks. Seriously, there are not really that many other ways this can work out. I mean, mathematically speaking. This isn't boring at all, Lonely Rolling Stone. This is amazing. Elliot says the fourth column is wrong. Move the box up a row. Am I allowed to do that though? Okay, go Goog says every column in row is entirely wrong. Because if I do that, we're wrong. Seriously, I'm waiting for the stream chat here. I'm waiting for orders, damn it. I'm not doing anything until you tell me what to do. Domus says no, see row four. I mean, I can't actually move those up, because then we get the wrong numbers. Color everything black. That's, that's actually a good starting point, I was about to say. Ricky, you got any ideas? I have no idea. <laughs> Taki Uchidono says maybe fourth row, white, white, black, black, white. Fifth row, white, black, white, white, white. There we go. Nice work, Taki Uchido What is that? Some kind of bird? The hell? <laughs> no wonder I couldn't figure out what it was supposed to be. I think I it's can't like a even... mutant turkey? I can't even tell what it is now. I think it's a mutant turkey, because the red blocks are the little gobbly thing. The top part's the head, and the squares. I'm twisting my head back and forth here, but I'm still not getting it. What the heck was that? It was what? The pew noise. No idea. 
yeah. All right, let's move on to number three. Okay, this one is. Uh, I will be right back. Gotta help with groceries. Let's see. No, wait, you will probably have to go here, I think. Something like so, I suspect. There needs to be four on this one. Okay, so I'm probably going to have need to move something else. Probably be wrong everywhere, as usual. Alright, let's move remove it all and start over so as usual. Seems likely, doesn't it? I can't believe we're actually still doing this. This is an amazing little game. So we're probably starting out like so. That's so, maybe? It's an 11! Maybe not. Anyone have any idea? Holy crap. <laughs> there we go, and it's a... It's a... It's a thing. What? I don't know. It's act it actually says Hibby. So it's actually supposed to be a green snake. Huh. Mm. I'm honestly still not quite seeing it. Honestly. But let's move on. <laughs> right, number four. Oh, hey. This one's easy at least. Five. Even I can do that. This seems like a likely start, doesn't it? This is say Wow. That's that, uh, is, a very, that is a very that is a very long word. Huh. I don't think it's hemorrhoids. Probably not stick. <laughs> oh, you been Bako. It's a post box. Huh. Thank you, Tapam. It was a post box. Right, number five. This seems likely. This seems likely as well.
fill all the middle three cube. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't think we have room for that since we're only allowed to have two on this one. You just color them all in. Done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just walk away. <laughs> uh, Coordinates works. You can either go to coordinates, you can simply give me a, a row number and then you can go BWW, BW and so on. Oh, and Samurai Fuchs is here. Nice. I am literally just waiting for input here, so... Knight to pawn three, okay. That puts us like so. Question is whether we will putting it so or so. Whoa! Jesus. Oh, oh right, we're not allowed to put that there. Actually, where are we allowed to put that? Yeah, oh yeah, right, right. These are con only contiguous numbers, that's right. Completely forgot about that. I th in that case, let's start over. Ta-da! I, uh... Some sort of musical instrument, maybe? Or a stingray, maybe? Or a frying pan? <laughs> Seriously, something tells me that this game would have worked a lot better if we had like two extra columns and two extra rows. Anyway, oh, if we knew what was going on. Otomo Yakushi. It's a tadpole. It's a tadpole. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, I see. That that could actually be a tadpole if you like resize the picture up and down in Photoshop 50 times until you lose all your c color information. Could be a tadpole. Right, let's do one more and then we can move on. Want to see what beast num- Oh, hey, it's zero! Nice! And one that says five contiguous. Ha! I can work with that. Right, let's see. One, one. 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 So maybe? No? How about so? There we go. <laughs> this is a shepherd's crook though, right? That's a shepherd's crook. Yes. It might be a, yeah, it might be a vomiting worm. Or one of those chocolate pipes. And a piece of the pipe is melting out because someone has been sucking on it. Maybe. Ah, okay. It's a, wait, it's a staff? Staff. But it has a bend on it. 
If it has a bend on it, it's not a staff. Right, fine. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Number 200. 15 times 15. Let's do this shit. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is the greatest fucking thing. Here we go. Okay, uh... <laughs> we'll solve this one and then we... No, wait. Oh my god, yeah, this... We could probably spend quite a while on this one. We'll be here till right. next Christmas. Four contiguous numbers in the bottom. Okay. Uh... Actually, let's use helpers instead. We could do it like that. Just keep that in mind. There are four contiguous numbers separated. Uh. Hmm. Still say to color them all in. I was about to say, just paint it all black and go away. Uh, yeah, that's actually a good point. Is that 14 or is it 1-4? It might be 14, I guess, but we have 15 here, so... Oh, wait. Like so. Let's just pretend it's 14. I think this supposed to be a... Yeah, they aren't separated. They aren't separated, so, they, so it's right. Okay. Then we have another 14 down here. So let's pretend that they are the same way. Yep. Yep. And then all the other ones are separated. Okay. I filled in the end for now since it yeah I have a higher number up here, but sure I can do this instead. We can be horribly horribly confused. Can't we just draw something nice and walk away? Oh god, what has happened? Fifteen by fifteen grid, baby. I get back to this? What the heck? Okay, use this mark for what you think is definitely white. Okay, should I use an X then perhaps to mark I don't know what the fuck? <laughs> what the heck? Why does this exist? Because Japanese people like brain teasers. It's like block Sudoku. Maybe that's actually how we should start thinking of it. It's Sudoku. Well, it is, yeah, pretty much. And Blue Gremlin, this is multiplayer, isn't it? You're playing, I'm helping. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, Nintendo released oh, hey. a 3D version of this recently. Nice. With the DSi XL. Domus, I know that it has nothing to do with Sudoku rules-wise, but it requires the same sort of thinking. And it uses a, a similar grid, so... The only difference That's is that the grids Sudoku. are you bigger. You can't place two of the same number in one line. You can't do place two of the same kind of block in one line. Yes, you can, but you get my point. But all right, as Thomas mentioned, we know that the seven is continuous, which means that we probably have to fill in one of these ends. The question is whether it's at the top or at the bottom. So we figured out what the spot, the different numbers mean now. Yeah, basically, if they are separated by a space, it means that they aren't continuous. It's basically two sets of four, so to speak. Ah, uh, that makes sense, I guess. Then we had two that were actually 14 here, so we know that those are probably connected to the top and bottom. So 
still love the soundtrack. <laughs> Maybe I should just put the Jeopardy thinking music over this while we work at it. Everyone is madly scratching out some sort of general idea back home. Let's see, okay, we have five and six continuous up here. So let's see, let's think for once. Oh, think fast, you actually think. Have an so if you put it like this for now then, let's pretend that it starts out with six straight. The, number, the numbers are in order, I think, yeah. The numbers do seem that they are in, in some sort of order, at least. You think? My battleship! Yep, yep, they're in order, because you can see that some of the, the ones on the row start low and then go high, low, and so on, while some start high. So it's probably in the order they're listed. I know that one of the ones here is obviously on this line. Hopefully. Are you sure that's 14 and not 1-4? There are only supposed to be two in this one, though. It has to be... makes my head hurt. Might be something like that instead, actually. Ah, yeah, that's... Okay, that makes sense. Then... We have 24 two. Are there 24 spaces here? 25, <laughs> it's yeah. Two it's 242, two, I think. No, that looks like 24 two. The problem is that I the four is the four is too wide since they're actually not using a monotype. Because they're stupid. <sighs> In row one we can only put two contiguous numbers, which and I picked the fives here because they are the only two close to one another numbers that are the same. It is so... not impossible, Lumberjack. Stop saying yeah, that. Yeah, I can just keep going off the screen like this. Oh, wait, I can't. Maybe it's like when you select boss characters in fighting games. You have to keep going off screen and placing them down. Oh, Fooch is here. When did he get yep, here? Yep, no. Well, you can all th think about this one for a while, and I can see if I can actually bring Fuchs in. I'm sorry I kind of replaced you, Fuchs. You weren't here for most of the stream. Ah, that's Yo. fine. We need, as, we need as many brilliant minds as possible. Yeah, exactly. It's a party. <laughs> I, I'm only brilliant when it comes to JB Harold. I'm sorry. You really should be, mm. I was about to say. And this just makes me want to play Pcross, so... I think I might be low, but I'm not sure about that. You sound fine. Yep. Yeah, I was okay. say, it, it, roughly, it might just you're roughly be the same audio, level as then. everyone else, so I, th yeah, I think okay. you're fine. A bit echoey, though. Yeah. Probably just my audio. Sounds like you're in a tunnel, but beyond that... That's just his dramatic voice. Exactly. It's <laughs> my, uh, it's my best What would J.B. Harold do? Um, I'm sorry, I don't, I, I didn't mean to bother you, Puzzle, I'm sorry. <sighs> That's what he would do, he'd kind of whine, complain. You know what, let's <clears throat> save. Let's save this here, and then we'll come back at a different time. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on, so... Seriously, I'm going to try and beat this thing off-screen, and then you can watch the YouTube video for the, what it actually is. Part 2. <sighs> Wait, did you skip all the way to 200? Yeah, why not? Because it, it's supposed to kind of help you <laughs> along to there. Grey Galgoog, that is racist. <laughs>